what's going what on? What up, what up, chilling? Not much. How are you doing? <laughs> I'm good. How about yourself? I'm doing pretty good. Doing pretty good. No complaints here. Yeah, for sure. I feel I'm it. so happy that you're joining me today. Hey, thank you for having me. <laughs> Absolutely. I think you this I don't dope. think you have an idea of um how long I've been following you on like YouTube and stuff like that. Uh -huh. And you know, I spoke with your manager and then I found out you were doing music and I was like, hmm, that's interesting. So I thought, you know, it'd be great to get you on here. Oh no, for sure. Um my bad too, you know, me getting back <laughs> is a little you know, I think a I take a long time, but you Look, I wasn't gonna, I wasn't gonna call you out about it, but you good in my book. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I, I get that from everybody. Man. <laughs> it's cool. Absolutely cool. So we got everybody coming in right now. Um, I'm going to go ahead and let you kind of introduce yourself a little bit because I know the people know who you are, but for those who don't know, who's d uh, Um, You know, my real name is Davies, but they know me as D-Rock. Um, I'm from the Madison video. That's where a lot of people know me from. The right. queen. Yeah, the, the look-alike. <laughs> like, that's what they like to call me, but I don't think I look like that. But you know what I'm saying? But yeah, man. I mean, I think the video did you justice, and we're definitely going to talk about that a little bit, very, very briefly. For but sure. um, yeah, so you're into YouTube. Tell us about your YouTube and things like that. Um, yeah, I, I, I the thing is, I wasn't into YouTube until I got on the video, mm -hmm. and you know, Queen being one of the most, you know, one of the best YouTubers out there, um. She 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 gave she gave the idea like yo you should start a YouTube yeah. because um in the video not a lot of people know this but me and my ex girlfriend was actually in the video oh she, okay she was the one that was on the scene in the club that you know what I mean homie was cheating uh huh um so she told us that and I was like all right cool so we ended up doing a video together um a little collab and that's where my YouTube started right there. Oh wow! So I thought you were doing YouTube before that. So that's really interesting. Nah, I wasn't. I wasn't even doing YouTube before that. At I all. had no idea. No idea. Yeah. <laughs> so cool. Let's talk about like your your name and where you got it from. Why do you call yourself D Rock? Um, where did it come from? How did it just stick? And why did you choose that as your name, as your artist name, your YouTube name? Talk to me about that a little bit. Um, D Rock. Honestly, it was random. I was on the I was on the track team in mm -hmm. high school. And one of the homies, everybody used to call me Davies, but all of a sudden he was like, yo, what up, D-Rock? He said it for the first time. I said, D-Rock, wow, I ain't never had a nickname. Yeah. So I just I just started calling myself D-Rock. I'm like, hey, it's your boy D-Rock, you know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. so, and it stuck. So everybody just started calling me D-Rock. So I was like, I bet that's the name. Mm -hmm. um, I, I also kept it on YouTube and the music because... After the video, everybody knew me as D-Rock, so it wouldn't make sense to just come out with with a, with a another name for right. an artist's name. You know what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. now people got to get used to that. So I was like, nah, I don't want to change it, so I'm going to just keep it D-Rock because people mm -hmm. know me as that already. That's dope. So talk to me a little bit about your heritage. I know um, you are Cape Verdean, right? Yep. And yep. honestly, I never even heard of that before until I found out who D-Rock was. Right. So talk to me a little bit about um, your Cape Verdean uh, background and uh, just coming from where you're from and uh, talk to me about what that means to you, being a Cape Verdean uh, artist, someone who's very well known right now. What does that mean to you, your heritage? Um, okay, so mm -hmm. for the ones that don't know, Cape Verde is 10 islands on the west coast of Africa. Mm. I was I was born born and raised there, actually, till I was 10, and then I moved here. Okay. And, um, you know, just being – I feel – of course, there's more Cape Verdean YouTubers, but I'm definitely there's there's like a few articles about me, like the Cape Verdean with the most followers. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. And my country's population is like five hundred thousand, and I have more followers than that alone. So wow. um, yeah, so I get a lot of support from there, and it, it makes me proud. You know what I'm saying? Especially coming from where I come from, it's Africa. <laughs> it's not the worst situation because I know the me the media, you know, news. Portray Africa is, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It's a it's a beautiful place, but you know, I wasn't I didn't I wasn't raised with a silver spoon. It was it was mm -hmm. hard. I saw my mom go through a lot. Right. Like most too, of us. So. Absolutely. Yeah, exactly, for mm -hmm. sure. But you know, man, I'm just I'm just trying to give give kids over there hope. Just, you know, just believe and you could be here too. 
know what I'm saying? Absolutely. I love that. I love that. So you said you came here when you were 10. Where did you move to first before? Because I know now you're in LA. You're based in LA, right? Yeah. I moved so where to, did you move um, to first before you came to LA? I moved to New Bedford. That's like an hour away from Boston. Mm, okay. It's like, it's like a small town. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of Cape Verdeans and a lot of Portuguese people. Mm, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Wow. So being in LA now, do you think that, because um, I know a lot of people think that, oh, I need to move to New York or I need to move to LA, Atlanta for me to make it. How good has LA been to you so far? Um, LA's been great. Mm -hmm. I've met a lot of great people out here. But what's the the crazy thing is I didn't move to LA because opportunities. I moved out here because I this is the first time I'm talking about it. I moved out here because a breaker. My breaker. Oh, okay. Oh. You know what I'm saying? So I was living with my ex. So when everything went south and you know we we agreed on not being together i just couldn't stay in the house wow i didn't make sense to, for me and you know and her to to roommate like yeah. we've been together for three years and a half so it didn't make sense to me so i was like you know what I'm hold on d-rock your sound went out a little bit uh okay yeah, i can hear you now, I can hear you now. but um mm -hmm. yeah but I ended up moving out here and I just ended up staying. You know, I okay. called my boy. I'm like, bro, I need to come to LA for a little bit. He said, all right, hey. He, he even bought me the ticket. I didn't even buy it. He was like, all right, cool. You mm -hmm. get on the plane. I decided in like two days. Wow. I called him. I said, yo, I'm out. In two days, I was out. Nobody knew. I told my parents the same day I was leaving. Oh, wow. <laughs> there was, yeah, like it was a decision that everybody looked at me crazy, but. Mm -hmm. I'm kind of, my friends know, know me for like making decisions like that. Like, I'm not afraid of saying, ah, right, we're going to go do that. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So, yeah, especially when I'm not in a comfortable position, mm -hmm. I get myself out that situation real quick. Wow. <laughs> and I have to say, like, I just went to LA for the first time, like last month. And mm. it's something very addictive about like those Hollywood Hills. And it right. makes you want to live there. So oh, I got to say why you didn't want to leave. For sure. And, uh -huh. and you know, we're, Boston is very cold. So coming out here, it's always summertime. It's mm -hmm. always a vibe. It's always, you know, it it it, it reminds me of Cape Verde. Oh, okay. Yeah. Because Cape Verde is very warm like this, beaches, you know. Mm -hmm. So that's why I was like, hey, I think I think this is the spot. I gotta stay here. Dope. So like we said, you're a YouTuber. Now you're kind of transitioning into becoming a music artist, right? All right. So obviously you have a love of music. Talk to me a little bit about your musical upbringing like what kind of music did you grow up on um where did your love of music come from and then kind of what kind of artist do you want to be known as okay um so hold on your sound again okay there we go. did i go out again no you're good okay mm -hmm. um so i grew up listening to traditional k Verde music okay um it wasn't much of hip-hop in the house mm -hmm. none of that actually mm -hmm. um so but i grew up really being that kid that as soon as music came on i was dancing mm -hmm. i was never i my dream was never to become an artist but mm -hmm. i so I, I did i did idolize you know michael chris brown mm -hmm. if those were people that i was i was watching when i was in k Verde. so to me it was like who are these people? Why are they right. like that? Yeah. You know, so just watching them dance was just like, oh, I want to dance. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So I was always that little kid that was, my mom would put music, oh, go dance. I went, I'll dance, but, but in front of my sisters, that's it. Okay. I was, I was always that shy kid. I went to parties. I'm like, no, I'm not dancing. I don't mm -hmm. want to do that. But I think that's where the love of music, that's where it came from. Just, you know, mm -hmm. dancing, loving. Because music is like, even when I'm feeling a certain type of way, music is the only thing that puts me in a better mood. Like that's the yeah. one of, I feel like that's the most powerful thing in the world when you can Absolutely. talk to somebody through your music. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. What kind so, of yeah. artist are you trying to be? Um, like I know I heard I heard the song so far. I don't know who else heard it, but we're gonna play it in a little bit. But it's giving me some vibes. Like, what kind of yeah. artist are you trying to be? Um, as far as your sound, your style, I, like. Right, I get that question all the time, mm -hmm. but I don't. I I just bro, I just want to speak to people, and yeah. I feel like my like the sound, 
Because I only, you only heard that one. I have mm -hmm. a lot of, I have island vibes too. Yeah. You know what I'm that's saying? What I got so, from okay. So you got island vibes. So yeah. yeah, I already have that in me. So even when I get on a hip hop beat, a little, mm -hmm. you're going to hear that island vibe. And I feel like there's no one really doing that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I'm just, bro, I just want to connect with the people, just make them feel a certain way. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Like when I was feeling a certain way and I heard, I listened to a certain artist and it made me feel better. I just want to connect with people. I don't want to be, you know what I'm saying? I don't want to mm -hmm. compete with nobody. Right. I want to do this fully for the people. And that kind of takes me into my next question for you. I was going to ask you, um, like, why are you trying to make music now? Being that you're such a huge uh, YouTuber, you're still growing on YouTube. Why right. music now? Like, in, like, why do you feel like this is the right time to do this for you? Um. So when I was about, like, 14, I was still in high school. I started, like, I would freestyle in the car with my friends, but it would be right. just fun. Mm -hmm. But I was I was still younger and I'm bilingual, so it was very hard for me to freestyle. So I would say the same word like ten times, and I would think it's just, it was the hardest thing ever. Yeah, you know what I'm saying I'm like, uh -huh. yeah, I can rap. You know what I mean? Uh -huh. but, but I just I fell in love with the process of learning how to make a song. You know what I'm saying? And I've never fell in love with a with something like that. The only thing I was ever in love with was the sport of soccer. Okay. That's, I played that my whole life. And when music came into play, it was just like, wow, this is so fun. And I enjoy doing it. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? So that's what really what it was. That's how I really fell in love with it. I chose to do it now because I'm in L.A. So this is the spot. Like, I've met great people that make music. So when they right. bring me into that environment, I'm like, damn, maybe I, I should, you know, let me get in the booth. Exactly. And that's how that came about. That's that. That's why I think it's it's the right time right now for sure. So, so if we were to go to your Apple Music playlist, right? I don't know if you have Apple Music, Spotify. If we were to go right. to your playlist, who would we find on your go-to playlist? Who who does D Rock listen to? You are gonna definitely hear some Burner Boy. Okay. Um, you gonna hear some Nelson Freitas. That's that's a Cape Verdean artist. Mm -hmm. One of the biggest Cape Verdean artists. Um. A little bit, a little baby, you know, a little baby put me in a little turn of vibe. <laughs> right. Stuff, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> um, and reggae. I mm -hmm. love reggae music. Mm -hmm. Love reggae music. That that's 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 the music right there that calms me down, puts me in a different headspace for sure. Absolutely. Who are some artists that you kind of um, get inspired by, or like some artists that you kind of identify with? When you think of yourself as an artist, you're like, okay, I don't want to be like this person, but they kind of inspire me. Like who right. are those artists? Um, I'm going to go, well, first artist I ever was just like, bro, what was, was Can Michael. I take a guess? You said Michael Jackson. Yeah. Can I guess another one? Go ahead. Chris Brown? Of course. Okay, yeah. Definitely. Okay, yeah. I definitely get the uh, Chris Brown vibes a little bit with the music and the dancing and stuff like that. Okay, so. yeah, for sure. Because that's, that's one of the reasons I really started dancing. Yeah. It was Michael at first, but, you know, and then it went into really watching Chris Brown and just trying to do the moves, watching videos over and over again. That's how it really, really all started. Cause right. I only used to dance. I didn't make music. I participated in a bunch of um, talent shows. Mm -hmm. I won. So that's how it really, that's how it really started for sure. That's but, dope. But Chris, Burner Boy, Burner Boy right now is, I think is what is doing it for me. Mm -hmm. Like his music, his sound, the feeling behind it. It just feels very African to me, mm -hmm. his music. You know what I'm saying? That's what I am. So I really connect. I love that. I love that. So y'all, I know y'all are so excited about hearing this song, but before we get there, we got, we got some more questions for him. But before we even get to our next um, set of questions, if you guys have questions for D-Rock, you can drop them below in the little box with the question mark. Um, it's easier for me to see them that way. If you put them in the comments, I kind of lose track because there's so many of y'all. All I see is hard eyes. I see right. tons of hard eyes. <laughs> Send them in right. the question uh, box below and I will ask them. But now we're going to switch gears a little bit, okay? So I want to kind of talk to you about you playing Christelle's in the medicine video, right? How right. did that kind of come about? I know you kind of uh, mentioned that a little bit, but kind of talk to me a little bit more in detail about that. How did you feel when you were even asked to play that role, knowing what was going on? That So, okay. So I started blowing up on social media mm -hmm. before that. But I would always see, oh, you look like this guy. You look like this guy. Yeah. And I'm like, okay, well, you know, whatever, whatever. <laughs> and then 
Spicy Management, which is Queens Management. Right. Um, they post, oh, we need a guy that looks 